didn't even sag at all. already I got to replace some of the uh, zerk fittings a couple of them wouldn't take grease that one right there is broken off I'm gonna have to get the uh, easy out pop that off and then I'm gonna weld a nut on there to keep that from getting damaged like that again I did buy it from a rental yard so I'm sure it's been abused but because it's a Yanmar I'm sure it'll run for many 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 more years I was recommended by the rental yard to order extra lines for the quick disconnect because they're known for going bad and getting snagged up on stuff with being there uh, it's a pretty rental shape I guess you could say um, there's no leaks that I'm aware of that I've found yet um, hydraulic fluid was a little bit low but it probably been a minute since it was topped off I already went through and pressure washed it I'm probably gonna repaint it and maybe get some stickers for it but I uh, plan to get lots of work done with this thing, so pretty good machine so far. I'll go over all the controls and do maintenance videos on it and all that sort of thing, but I'm just cleaning it up for the most part right now, trying to figure out what needs to be fixed. got that thumb for it right in the middle there um, doing do, 
going to do an install on that. I got a hook to put on the uh, back of the coupler or the back of the bucket. I might do one on each. Uh, new teeth, backhoe style teeth. I'll put links in the description for everything. There's the new uh, pin that came with the new thumb. I've got a drill and tap, a couple of Zerk fittings because they were stripped out.
Not too bad for a little 110 flux core welder from Harbor Freight. That's one of the upgrades I'm going to do with this machine is dig a trench so I can uh, run more power to the garage and run a bigger welder. So there's that end. There's that end. Haven't ground them down yet. And then I'm going to do under here. And under here.
Thank <laughs> you. 